Tonight on Wine Angle, China's top high school students cram for a test that will decide who becomes tomorrow's leaders. China depends on us. A little stress is good for you. Some of my classmates are sick because of the pressure. And in a nation of only children, there's plenty of stress for parents as well. Success is approaching. Don't make silly mistakes. Trying to be number one in a billion. One, two, China prep. Next on Wide Angle. Welcome to Wide Angle. I'm Aaron Brown. Imagine for a moment the most important decisions about your future will be made by the time you reach 17. At that point, you'll know if life is going to be rich with possibility, not to mention dollars, or if it's going to be spent toiling on a factory floor for pennies. As we'll see tonight, that's reality in China. We'll take you to one of China's elite high schools as seniors prepare for the test of a lifetime. The winners will find the world open to them, cars and clothes and money to spare. The losers will find something quite different. The winners will be competing with your son or daughter for economic supremacy in the world. The losers might be making the TV set you're watching. Each of the kids you're about to meet knows what's at stake. So imagine the pressure of that. Later, we'll talk with Harvard professor Vanessa Fong, whose expertise is how China's children are entering a modern, global age. Now that there's only one child, everyone has to get the good white-collar job. Every, that's what they're working for. That's why they want to be a superpower, because they see that once you're a superpower, you can have that many opportunities. Stay with us. My ability to realize my dreams and aspirations depends on the college entrance exam. I must get into the college of my choice. I think the immense pressure we feel comes from our parents. Their expectations are too high because they only have one child. The competition is fierce. Every student studies very hard and every student is very smart. On the banks of the Yangtze River lies one of the fastest growing cities in the world, Chongqing, with 12 million inhabitants. Chongqing boasts one of the largest, most elite public high schools in China, Bashu Middle School No. 2. The senior class heads to the courtyard for a welcoming assembly. It's the first day of school. The students at Bashu are preparing for the infamous National College Entrance Exam known in China as the Gaokao. Over 10 million kids all across China will take the exam in 2008. It's practically the only ticket to enter university. And in today's capitalist China, a college degree is essential for securing a well-paid job. Students come from urban and rural China to attend Bashu. Half of them move into the school's dorms. Others live near the school in rented apartments with their parents. Public high schools in China charge tuition. Bashu offers scholarships to the best students on an as-needed basis. And some students who do not meet the school's academic criteria can still enroll if they pay a higher fee. In 
，完全有可能超过美国，成为世界第一。Some of China's future leaders will emerge from the ranks of Bashu's 1,800 seniors. Zhang Li, the class president, is the daughter of a lawyer. Mei Jia Chong is a gifted math student whose family works the rice paddies. Gao Mengjia dreams of becoming rich and helping the poor in Africa. Chen Jibo wants to excel at business. His father compares him to a warrior. Peng Quen can't wait to finish school and travel the world. They all aspire to make their mark in the new China. Immediately after the morning assembly, the students get their marching orders. They're in the care of Ms. Guo, the class's mentor and chemistry teacher who keeps a close watch over her flock in their final year at the school. These students are vying for entrance to the top two schools in mainland China, Tsinghua and Beida Universities in Beijing. Acceptance there virtually guarantees future success. Portraits of those who are accepted are displayed in the courtyard. Superior. 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 Cockroach. 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 Traitor. 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 Elite. Elite. Students are competing with each other throughout the school year and are ranked by their test results. The best students are placed in honor classes but can be removed at any time if their performance falls short. Chinese, English, and math are obligatory for all students at Bashu. Additional subjects depend on whether the student is on a science or humanities track. Chen Jibo is from the suburbs of Greater Chongqing. Because of his good grades, he was recruited to attend Bashu his home is an hour away, so he lives in the dorms. My dream is to become a businessman like Bill Gates. Because he makes a lot of money and can give large amounts to charity. Zhang Li is one of the most popular girls in class. She was chosen as one of their leaders. I'm the class president. As a class president, the most important thing is to be a good example. Whatever you do, you have to be better than everyone else. For example, you can't be the first one to break the rules. At Bashu, regulations for senior year are especially strict. The only time students have a chance to socialize is during meals. There is no TV, no internet access, and no common room. Even extracurricular activities such as sports are banned. Girls aren't allowed to wear makeup or high heels. Your clothes can't be too revealing, and dating isn't allowed. Headmaster O Jin closely monitors the faculty and gathers them for frequent meetings. He reminds them that for teachers as well as students, this year is all about the test. Oh. Uh, 
中国乃至全世界最顶尖的大学。第一，指标，这个隐形指标，各位，三十个北大清华，这是一定务必完成的一项重大指标。我们每一个 KK， 比方说完成了三十个。第二名，这个团队有个基本的基本奖，我最后再细则再最后定，啊，再听大家的意见。完成了三十五个，我们增加一个基本奖。完成了四十个，好，这是我们成功，我觉得比较成功的一边是要奖多一点。完不成任务的话，大家是没得奖励的，对，我先说清楚，啊，那只能是成为巴蜀的罪人，嗯。Teachers and students are required to be at school seven days a week, and often late into the evening. Many teachers also live in dormitories on the school campus. Although Bashu is a public school, it is run like a competitive business. Distinguished teachers from other schools are recruited with attractive offers to teach there. Gao Mengjia wants to make sure she's well rested, so she likes to wear eye massage equipment to bed. Like many Chinese kids, Mengjia is an only child. Her parents have been saving for her education since she was born. When the alarm rings, I feel a new day has begun again. In my heart, I feel very happy and full of hope. My parents sacrifice a lot for me. Every morning they spend a lot of time cooking a nutritious breakfast for me. In China, children are expected to take care of their parents when they're older. There is no reliable state pension system, so Mengjia will likely have to support her parents and grandparents in the future, all by herself. I think I hope to be a financial advisor. I want to become a financier, either in the Chinese stock market or the world stock market or NASDAQ. My dream is to find a little world of my own. I really like economics. When I read about the stock markets, I can feel the blood rushing to my head. I get especially excited and very happy about it. But I haven't thought about how to turn this grand dream into a reality. I don't have a specific plan or strategy. A financier needs a lot of things, like capital and a brain like Warren Buffett, a very clever mind. Mung Jia's family home is 45 minutes away by bus. To maximize their daughter's studying time during this all-important year, her parents moved closer to school to cut out her commute. They also cook her meals and take care of her chores. The final exams can be the ticket to the college of my dreams. If I do well, I can go to Beta University. I believe what I do every day is significant. I'm moving toward a dream that is very tough and distant, but I believe there's a chance my dream may come true.